Sunday everybody welcome back to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today as you can tell by the title this is a quick this is a mini fabric haul I only have three pieces to share with you but I also wanted to share because I have gotten this question over several videos and I always answer them in the comments but I figure I'll just kind of talk about it here a little bit and that is some of the favorite uh, fabrics that I enjoy working with the most probably my favorite fabrics to work with if we had to put them in a category um, but thank you everybody for tuning in today and welcome to all my new subscribers if you are new to the channel consider subscribing consider thumbsing up this video and don't forget to hit the bell on your way out so you do not miss an upload so originally today was supposed to be um, because the day you're seeing this will be be Father's Day yes it will be Father's Day by the time you see this video and the plan was to share with you all of the Father Day makes that you all know I did some batch cutting and everything for the husband that didn't quite work out because one I didn't finish but two um, because my husband ended up having to work during that weekend the Father's Day weekend and everything and so then the next few days after that he will be off for um a couple days and so we figured whatever we were going to do for father's day we'll just wait till he has his downtime and can rest um and everything but he's been working a lot of overtime so anyway so um the day uh you're seeing this is father's day so uh happy father's day to all um so natural dang community the men in your life the the fathers and everything happy father's day um so anyway um so hopefully by uh wednesday's video you will see um everything i made for him because i want him to take pictures and everything and right now he just doesn't have time to be taking all these pictures I want him to take and so um but anyway I am going to go ahead and jump into this uh, mini haul like I said it's just three pieces and then I'm, I want to share with you um let me see what is it one two three four fabrics that I enjoy working with the most and so let's go ahead and jump into it I am going to share with you you all know one of my favorite fabric companies I actually for those who are newer to the channel um just a couple things about me for fabric that um i look out for one is the width of fabric um just because i started my sewing journey um uh 300 plus pounds i am very much used to even as i lose weight it does not matter i need fabric i prefer i should say to have fabric in my stash that's 55 inches or wider preferably on the wider end that 57 you those two inches make a difference especially if you have a skirt that got that little point or something has a point and you need just that little bit of extra room um yes because i still deal with that now even because you all know i like you know fuller things at the bottom and so if i'm working with some collats or something like that that little extra two inches makes a world of a difference so for me one thing is i prefer 60 50 that 55 to 60 inch width fabric and so i did an entire video on that could have been a year ago no probably two years ago i will leave a link to it up in the i cards i'll leave a link to it in the description box as well so drop the uh, arrow down there so you can go check that out if you are looking for wondering what are some of my uh, top 10 I think is the top 10 online fabric shops um, which includes those that offer wider width fabric and so and I might at some point update that video because obviously since then there's been other fabric companies and whatnot that I have discovered but anyway that's one thing and also the um the more i sew i kind of figure buying my fabric in a couple different um categories i am the more i sew and i'm thinking more about the quality um of the garment that i am sewing the more of the higher quality textile now that i'm i become more interested in and so that means for me, that may mean spending a little bit more money, which I am fine with for the longevity of a piece that I'm making. Um, but like your Walmart fabrics and some Joanne fabrics can be a little uh, it, iffy too. But 
uh, Joann's um, fabrics, you know, Walmart fabrics that, well, I don't put Walmart and Joann in the same category. So let's scratch that. Um, but you know, like your Walmart fabrics, which tend to be a little bit of a lower quality, I would still purchase those and I would suggest you would you do as well to make muslins use them as wearable muslins so you can um it might be a fabric or something that you see over there that you like um but depending on the quality and um and I say depending on the quality because there have been, I've visited a couple Walmarts where I'm like, how did they get their hands on this fabric? Because it was really good quality fabric. <laughs> but um, so it just ranges from, um, the, the place where I would get fabric. But if I'm looking for the longevity, maybe the quality, the wear, if it peels easily, that type thing, um, I'm probably going to get my textile from a different, uh, fabric shop that it might cost me just a little bit more of an investment, which I'm fine with. So keep that in mind, um, as well when I talk about a, a couple of these uh, places, but the fabric I picked up from one of my favorite places is so much fabric she um had actually when i checked um the website at the time of this recording if it changed by the time i need to edit this i'll put it on the screen she still had this fabric left and it is called it's 55 inches wide it is called orchid kiwi yellow medium rayon chali print long title but it's a rayon chali print and um it has um it's, it says this you will see in a future video it seemed like i've been buying a lot of stuff that have orchid um that orchid color which is in uh that purple family but here is the fabric so as you can see that and that is coming off true to color so it is such a beautiful beautiful print and again the drape of it love the drape definitely feels cool um and i love it i picked up it says here two yards um and i'm just looking in my you all know i have a swatch book that i keep uh, <laughs> um when i order fabrics and i clip a piece of the fabric so i just remember where i got it from and that type thing sometimes i will go back in here and mark don't buy that fabric again but that's more for some early fabrics most of the fabrics like i said um the type of textile has definitely been um a determining factor for longevity of what i plan to make now this i do think i know what i want to make with it um and that's why i picked it up for the design the drape and everything for this particular pattern i have in mind um but i'll let you know that um as soon as you know i have <laughs> have those plans set in place so this other fabric is coming from Destashify. You all know that I am a Destashify uh, brand um, ambassador. And um, obviously no more of this uh, fabric is available on the website. When I saw both of these colors, um, well, the one I had to pick, it's a linen. I saw it at the time when I looked on the website, I saw it um, pop up because I was scrolling through just trying to see, oh, what do I want this month? And um, I saw it and I was like, oh, I have got to have that. That is going to look so good on me. But let me share with you. I will leave a link to Destashify down below. Remember, I've always talked about Destashify as a place where you can donate. If you don't want to open up an account and worry about selling things, you can donate fabric. Um, you will have to email um, Carrie at Destashify. Actually, there's a button, I believe, or a link on the website where you can um reach out to her she did go through some up, uh, website updates over the past few months so just make sure that um you reach out to her um and i'm sure it's fine if you dm'd her over at instagram as well um but yes i'm always so very pleased with the fabrics that i had I picked up to date a uh, fabric i've purchased as well as the fabric that i am gifted as well so let me just jump into i only picked up two pieces um now i just told you all um i'm just getting out the package um i just told y'all i have been getting a lot of fabric in this kind of orchid lilac color uh for whatever reason it's just what i've been drawn to and so she had some it's called lilac rayon spandex jersey knit 
and she had 1.4 yards of it left and this is it see i, I told you I don't, I've just been drawn to it as of late. It's a beautiful color. Looks beautiful on me. Um, and so this is a rayon jersey. And so, um, yeah, I think this is so... Now, it's a solid, obviously. So, you know, it's not, you know, spectacular. But in that, you know, it's not a print. But I, this is such a beautiful color. Beautiful um, for me. Definitely in my color palette. I don't quite know what I want to do with this just yet. Um, but, and actually rayon jersey is one of my favorite fabrics to work with. So, but I'll be talking about that in a moment. So, um, yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I actually need to wash that. So let me put that over to the side. And then the other one, this is the one I saw when it was, uh, Put up on the site and i was like oh no i am grabbing that it is it's called cherry red rustic linen and it is three yards i grabbed all three yards y'all and it is at, this is beautiful let me just hold this up and that is coming off true to color and you can see the weave on that Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just some beautiful linen. I'm just going to slide back just a little bit. And so, yeah, it's coming off. Maybe that is true to color. I'm thinking this is true to color when I slide back a little bit. That is true to color. And it is, um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Definitely in my color palette. This one was 55 57 inch i'll have to measure it but um i'm gonna treat this like i've um and i know that right now it is a bit stiff just a little bit but i know you know how you do the treatment of linen da 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 da, da steam it and wash it you know all of that right um sandra bet betzina is what i always say <laughs> when treating plus google uh um, treating pre-treating your linen before you're working with it and um, search here on YouTube many is so many, professor pin cushion I believe has something out there it's so many um, videos out there but anyway so I will be um, treating this but so it is a little um, stiff but it will um, it I can tell it it will um, loosen up and relax on and so I absolutely love oh this is so pretty I'm so happy I picked this up now what I want to make with this my first thought there's a couple of different things but one is the Seguro am I pronouncing that right I'll pop up a picture set by Friday Pattern Company I would like to do shorts and um, the top um, or I might do a skirt, but I still love that top. And I want to do the top with the tie, the uh, ties in the front. I think that is so cute. And so um, it might be a skirt. Because um, for linen, I tend to like wearing skirts more over pants. Um, even though I did just make those um, posy pants um, by Rebecca Page Panner. If you missed that um, video, I'll link it up above. And I absolutely love the way those linen pants feel. Um, but so I don't know. I'm leaning towards a skirt with that's a girl top or um, doing shorts instead of pants i know i'm not going to do the longer pants i will always do something shorter but anyway that is this fabric so let me set this to the side because i need to um uh, treat that so that is my mini haul for today now i want to talk about uh fabrics that i enjoy working with the most and so um for a while, I didn't have a favorite fabric um, because obviously with sewing, you kind of learn what you like to work with, what feels good on your body, um, drapes of different fabrics, different things of that nature kind of determines, you know, what you tend to gravitate to the most and what you might have in your stash. So you should look in your stash to see, A, what have you made the most of and what fabric type right um so if you have a lot of knits what kind of knit is it because obviously there's so many knits if there's a lot of uh wovens in your closet 
there's so many different types of woven. So there might be, if you see a trend of the type of fabric you have sewn up a lot, it might be your favorite fabric. So I did have to kind of think like, do I really have a favorite? And actually I do. There are four that I actually enjoy um, working with the most. Two um, are knit and two are woven. So let me go with the knit first because I have the other one in my hand that I actually just showed you one, but I threw it over there on the floor. Um, it is the first knit I absolutely love working with is a rayon jersey. Now this is a rayon jersey. I just showed you the one from um from uh desatchifying the lilac. This here is in the kiwi from so much fabric. And the reason I like rayon jersey is because one it feels really nice to wear in heat when it's warmer. Um and because Texas really we do have more warmer days than cooler days um it just feels good to wear and even in our cooler days here it's nice as a layering piece um different things of that nature and to me rayon is as you can tell it is a nice drapey type fabric but it has good recovery um to me for the things that I've made wrap dresses um for the most part, they've all been dresses. All the things I've made have been dresses um, or a tank top. And I just always like the feel of it, always like the recovery of it. And um, I just like working with the rayon jersey. In contrast, and I don't have, surprisingly, any to show you, actually should have brought up my shorts because I do have some shorts I made in a cotton jersey. But that's the other type of jersey I like to wear as well. It is a cotton jersey. And um, I tend to get, um, so my, ray my rayon jersey I get from many different places so so much fabric this came from so much fabric obviously that came from destashify is the place that um places i like to get them um also who has really good um rayon jerseys is um who else is uh cali fabrics that's who i'm thinking of cali fabrics is another place la finch fabrics has beautiful rayon jerseys as as well um and then the cotton jerseys um i have enjoyed um cotton jersey as well now cotton jersey has a little bit it's it's not as drapey as your rayon jersey right but it also has uh to me a little better recovery because then since it's not as drapey um then it uh, it still has that nice recovery depending on what you're making so for uh, a cotton jersey i've ordered from style maker fabric i actually love style maker fabric cotton jersey because they also they always seem to have really nice uh beautiful prints um but um style maker fabrics I've also gotten really good cotton jersey from Girl Charlie and actually a pair of shorts that I, my male joggers that I, that modified into shorts. Um, those are made of, out of cotton jersey that I got from um, Girl Charlie. Now the stuff I've gotten from Style Maker Fabrics, I've always made that stuff up into dresses. Longevity of it. Um, oh, I've picked up rayon jersey from Style Maker Fabrics too. Um, just I just like the feel, the drape, the recovery, washing. That's something else I also look for. If I wash something, I don't tend to dry. I think I've mentioned that I don't tend to dry my stuff after I've you know initially cleaned the fabric. Um, but that washing process, I'm also looking for fading over time peeling over time and for me i have found based on the places i've ordered um that type of uh fabric from the rayon jersey the cotton jersey the places i mentioned there wasn't peeling it didn't fade even over time and it still had great recovery and still wore very well the only reason I don't have those pieces anymore is because of weight loss and they were just too big on me um, at that point. But yes, highly, highly recommend um, those fabrics. Then my next two are probably easy to tell because I think I, I show a, a lot is um, Rayon Chali. I just showed you um, a lot of dresses I've made have as of late. Let me think have been um rayon i mean i'm sorry um uh, rayon chally excuse me 
and I absolutely love, love, love. It, it's the drape. It feels good, um, nice and cool to the touch especially in this heat down here in Texas, it wears beautifully. You know, I'm not finding that it's feeling like it's sticking to me or anything like that. The colors for different rayon jerseys I've worked with um, and places I've gotten them from, I mean, rayon chali, um, again, so much fabric, places like so much fabric. I've gotten some really good uh, rayon chali from Minerva and, um, uh, as well and have I picked up I know L LA Finch fabrics again these are probably all fabric stores that I talk about in my <laughs> in my top 10 online stores so that's why there's a lot of repeat uh, but um, absolutely love um, their fabrics and how um, their fabrics feel the drape the color again looking for fading over time hold up of the garment over time different things of that nature um, and what I'm looking for and then the last um, woven I absolutely and this is a new one for me I think I mentioned this in a previous video it's a viscose um, twill and um, I absolutely love, this is a viscose twill. I had to go get my top. Um, this is the Love Notions uh, Rhapsody blouse. And um, every time I wear this, whether, what time, it, I made this last summer. So I did wear this in the summer last year. I wore it through the fall and um, obviously wearing it this summer. And it just feels so comfortable and so good. I don't know if you will be able to tell the weave in this. If I try to see if this zooms in. No, you can't. You really can't tell the weave. Um, but I got addicted to this fabric. This came from so much fabric i ordered it last year um and she went out of it immediately but um the drape on the um a viscose twill it the, now the weave is just it feels it's definitely i hate to use the word thicker um but it is thicker than the rayon chali but it's just as drapey and it's perfect for your um uh, to me for the summer, fall, winter, all year round here in Texas. And even um, in other parts, uh, if you're somewhere where it's colder more frequently, maybe you, uh, I don't know, I think it could still work. For those who work with the viscose twill in the winter time, definitely leave that down below. Um, but this, I absolutely love, love this. And if you all saw my um, summer mood board, I share my fabrics and the patterns um, for my my summer mood board. I'll leave a link to that up above. But four of those fabrics are viscose twill. And I picked up all four of those <laughs> from Minerva. And I had purchased those when they had some sale on solids and prints or some back in April. And so I had purchased quite a bit, um, four different I want to say it was four different colors um and so if you missed that video go back and check that out because i do show the viscose twill and the colors i picked up but absolutely beautiful 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 and for me um you probably seen over the past maybe few months my fabric do i like solid or print more Mm, it all depends there is um there are certain things if you saw my summer mood board there are just certain Sorry about that, the camera cut off, but if you saw my summer mood board, there were certain solids that that was purposeful um, because I want to be able to mix and match them with other things. Um, the prints, for prints, I tend mostly, yeah, most of the print that I choose to wear, nine times out of ten, it's going to be a top or a dress. I don't wear prints on my bottom just because I for me personally it just works better and then the scale of print is very important to me I can't do ditzy prints um even you know at the top these little little flowers and all this other that type those type prints no that does not for me look good on me one for me I've noticed because I am larger chested 
um, and have a little bit of a tummy, it it's just seemed like it's just too much going on uh, with all them little ditzy prints and everything like that. So I can't, uh, I don't mess with ditzy prints. Um, and I remember I made a top digress i'm digressing but i did make a top that was in a ditzy print beautiful it was a rayon chali i remember um and that top looked horrific on me but anyway one because of the uh style of the top but two that print print all over like that Oof, no not in the top so and i think that was one of my early lessons um about scale of a design on a print ditzy is a big no for me i just don't like the way it looks on me ditzy prints but i like larger scale prints and if you've seen my fabrics uh, my custom design fabrics um that i release every year they're still available um you can go check them out on my website just if you were interested to know what i'm talking about all of those scales of print when i um, initially show them um, when i have actual fabric their larger scale i did um update my prints um uh, someone has suggested um making them a, a smaller scale available in a smaller scale um because not everybody like large scale prints and i was like oh that makes sense and so i did so i uh, changed up all the designs so it come in a large scale and your smaller scale for those who do like more of the more ditzy uh smaller prints different things of that nature but absolutely ooh. I love it. I love it. So those are my favorite um, fabrics I like to work with that I find right now and um, the fabric stores I've shopped at. But again, I do have a separate video. All of the fabric stores I mentioned today is in that um, top 10 online fabric shop. So I will link to the um, uh, that video down in the description box um, and in the iCard. So if you want to check that out and in the description box of that video is the links to all of those uh, fabric stores. Uh, so make sure you check those out. A couple that's not mentioned because those store the store wasn't open at the time was Melanata Fabrics have some beautiful um, rayon chali uh, as well. And so um, definitely check them out as an option. Um, so at the time they weren't open when I did that video but yeah that is pretty much it so if you have any questions definitely let me know leave them down in the comment section below we have a long weekend coming up because there is um uh Monday uh, is Juneteenth so um we have off and so at least at my company we have off and so um yeah so it'll be a nice uh extra long weekend so over the weekend i'll definitely be doing some more sewing and hopefully wednesday i will have all of the pieces that i made for my husband and have been able to wrangle him for some pictures <laughs> Uh, for you by Wednesday. So again, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comment section. What are some of your favorite fabrics you like to uh, work with? Are there any favorite, favorite fabrics you like to work with um, in particular stores? People in the comments are all, you know, folks check comments. So leave that down um in the comment sections as well to give people other ideas um so they know where to shop or the type of fabrics to look out for so all right everybody you all have a blessed blessed start to your week and we will see you on wednesday bye